Hello cutie. So I didn't really film an intro for this video and if you could tell I'm like holding my camera right now. I don't know, I, part of me feels like this is like more personal. Like, hello. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Anyway, I just wanted to say hi. I hope you're doing well and I hope you enjoy this journey that we are about to embark on together. It's gonna be a fun one. Huge payoff, huge payoff. All right, stay safe out there. Take care of yourself. All right, enjoy the video. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, so I have this idea. It might be a terrible idea. It might be a good idea, but I'm gonna test it out with you guys so that if it's a good idea, you guys know about it too. So basically, I was wanting to do acrylic, but then I was like, eh, like I don't wanna encapsulate glitter acrylic right now. I just don't want to. It's not fun, I don't like it. They always come out way too thick and I have to do like two hours of filing. And then I was thinking when I did these nails, the poly gel was super glittery, but I didn't have to do any filing really like just very minimal filing around the cuticles because I used the lazy girl method where you put the poly gel on the full cover tip and then you apply the full cover tip to your finger right so I was thinking has anybody ever done like the lazy girl method but with acrylic so I kind of did like a little bit of research and I tried to like look for people who had done that and I couldn't find anyone who did that. So I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna try to do it. If someone already did do it, then good job to them, I guess, for thinking of it first but I'm gonna do it anyway. So I've got a peel off base coat on right now. So first things first, I'm going to size out my tips. I'm going to be using my long square beetles tips and I'm gonna size them out just like a bit bigger than I normally would. Like this one looks like it's like a tiny bit too big, but so I'm gonna size them out a tiny bit bigger just to like leave room for the acrylic. So I've got them all sized out now and I'm just gonna follow like the normal steps of like how you would usually do the lazy girl method. So I'm going to prime the inside of the tips with my primer. I swear the second I decide to sit down to film, my neighbor gets out his leaf blower. <laughs> It's fine. They're all primed, nice and etched. So let me show you which acrylic I wanna use. So I have one more glittery custom acrylic that I've made and then one glittery but not as glittery custom acrylic. So this one's the new moon one that I made for my Karomi set. It's basically just black with a little bit of hollow like glitter in it. And then this one is one that I made off camera for a set that I did for myself. I did post a short with it. It has like the little glow in the dark stars in it and it's purple and I really love this one. And I think that these two together would make an epic set. So let me swatch them for you. But first I need to get my monomer. And I always use my little syringe to get my monomer because I'm clumsy and I don't want monomer spilling everywhere. I've learned the hard way. And I'm just gonna use my number six brush from Savaland. This size has really been like my favorite lately. And when I clean my brushes, I do like put Vaseline on them. So it's kind of like crusty because of the Vaseline, but it is very moisturized. So let me just clean it off real quick with some alcohol. Okay, so let me swatch these custom acrylics for you guys. So you can see what we're working with. No. pretty. I love this purple one. It has a lot of different glitter in it. It's so sparkly and reflective. It also has like some of these like aurora foil little chunks in it. And then the new moon. It's kind of just like a basic black, but not basic because it's sparkly. I'm just gonna alternate between these because I kind of wanna see how this method, if it works, how it works with an acrylic that's more chunky and glittery and one that's not as glittery, like just basically like a normal acrylic. Okay, so let's do this, shall we? I'm really, really hoping that this is gonna work. Okay, so I've got my tip. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to like I know that I can't cover this entire thing. Actually, oh wait, okay. 
So at first I was thinking I definitely can't cover this entire thing and then pop it on my nail because if I start down here, this is going to be definitely dry or like it's definitely going to set before I can put it on my nail. But what if I start applying the acrylic at the top and then feather it down and then once I get down here, I pop it on. Oh, that's such a good idea. Okay, so let's do this. I'm excited. Okay. Uh... Mm, I want to put it on a press-on stand, but at the same time, I feel like trying to take it off of the stand is going to waste time, and like I cannot waste time with this because it's going to start setting, so I need to like pop it on my nail right away when I get down here. Okay, so I'm going to start with the black, and I'm going to start putting the acrylic up at the top. Basically, the whole reason why I'm really hoping that this works is because I hate filing acrylic. Can't find a comfortable way to hold this. It literally takes me like longer than an hour to file it to where I'm happy with it. So I'm making sure that it's very thin near the bottom because I don't want to actually like pop it on my nail yet. You might say like why don't you just use poly gel to do this like why does it have to be acrylic but the thing is i don't know how to make custom poly gel if that's something that you can do and i love making custom glitter acrylics and i just feel like overall like glitter acrylic just has a different look than poly gel okay now i'm going to put the bead that's going to go down near the cuticle in the nail bed and i'm going to try to stick it on my nail and this is going to have to be really fast so okay down and on okay and now i'm just going to let it set obviously like these parts that like there's a little bit spilling out on the sides i can file that off later and it does look like a little bit squeezed out down there so there's like a little bit a little spot down here that doesn't have any acrylic i can just cover that with some rhinestones it's fine okay so now it's set enough i think that look it's literally it worked it worked except like on the side here i didn't really size it out like good enough or something because there is like you know it doesn't perfectly fit on my nail mostly over here if you're not happy with like the amount of acrylic that you put at the top you can always just go back and add some underneath but i think i'm pretty happy with it wow like look i'm going to do like barely any filing like that's crazy. Okay, I do wanna kinda try to see if I can fill in these gaps on the side a little bit because I know that they're gonna bug me. So just tiny little beads. Okay, well I didn't do a very great job of that, but I think it's a little bit better. And we're just gonna have to file this one a little bit more than we would have had to, but it's okay. I think that is a great job for the first attempt. Nice. Okay, so on to the next one. And I'm going to be using the glittery one for this. So just like I did before, I'm just going to start applying it towards the top of the tip. I love this glitter one. Oh, it's so cute. I love the little stars in there. Oh my goodness. This is why I love making custom acrylic. I was debating whether or not to make new custom acrylic for this video, but I kind of just wanted this to be like its own little video but definitely want to make some more custom acrylic soon okay and now this time when i put it on my nail i really have to remember to wipe off my brush because the last time um i was kind of rushing and it got a little gunked up because i didn't wipe it off right away because i was like rushing to put it on my finger so this time i'm gonna try to be a little bit better about that listen to same sad song what have you done it all day this one did squeeze out a lot if i can clean it up a little bit Can't sleep good, but you're wide awake. wow and i think i did a much better job like fitting it to my nail this time ah cute oh my goodness this is working out like so much better than i like actually thought it was going to I'm so happy. I'm definitely just waiting like a few minutes until it's set enough that nothing's gonna happen to it when I move on to do the next ones because I do not want it to like get pushed or like crooked and whatnot. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, I have to show you guys how the stars glow in the dark. Okay, let me pop it in my UV lamp and turn these lights off so y'all can see that. Look, like look, 
<gasps> it's like a little surprise. They glow in the dark. Oh, it's so cute. I love this acrylic. I love it so much. Okay, it's good now feels firm. I'm just going to continue doing this exact same process. We're just going to finish putting them on. It makes me so happy that this actually worked because like sometimes I just really don't feel like doing all of the filing and just shaping the nail with the acrylic myself. It always comes out so bumpy and really bad. So now if I want to like use a specific acrylic, but I just like do not feel like doing all of the filing and everything that usually goes into acrylic, I can just use this method and it's like so easy like this has literally been so painless so far so painless I feel like I should probably be wearing gloves or something right now because it's kind of getting on my fingers a little bit. I'm trying to really get it up all the way to the sides this time. I feel like I didn't do a great job of that on the thumb. Okay, and then this part is always like kind of nerve wracking, but I just need to remember like it's not going to set in literally one second. Listen to the same sad song. What have you done it all day? Can't sleep good, but you're wide awake. Tomorrow is it. Boom. This is like so fun because let's say that like there's a specific acrylic that you really love or like you really want to try making custom acrylics because I mean like look how pretty this is like this this is just amazing and this is not something that I feel like you could get with just like poly gel. Custom acrylic just has like a specific look to it but like I know that acrylic kind of has a stigma that it's like super hard and that it really takes a lot of practice which it kind of does but it's like definitely doable but now like if there's a specific acrylic that you really want to try without having to like do all the filing and go through all of the hassle of like learning acrylic kind of like you can just use this method and you can like have cute ass nails without all of the hassle all right let's keep going Also, thank you guys so much for the support lately. I feel like I'm literally so close to 1,000 subs. I am trying to think of something that would be fun to do that like all of my subscribers could kind of like feel included in it. I know giveaways are fun and I might do a giveaway, but I kind of just like don't like the idea of just like one person winning, but maybe I'll do a giveaway and I'll do something else. But if you guys have any like fun ideas that you want me to do for like a fun video, like a thank you for hitting 1k let me know i'm definitely open to suggestions also when you put it near the cuticle try to kind of push it up a little bit so that it doesn't like completely flood out by the cuticle like make it a little thinner down there this glitter one always seems to splash out a lot like I kind of want to do a video recreating your you guys' nail designs or something where like you guys tell me what to do or like you just tell me what you want to see, okay? Like literally, I feel like with this method, like if you got good at it, you wouldn't even have to file. Like I'm looking at these nails right now and like these would be fine if I didn't even file them. I just could like stick some stickers on and put a top coat and they would literally look amazing. Amazing. And you guys, like this method so far has taken me like 30 minutes like usually do you know how long it takes me to do acrylic a long time a long time that's all i'm saying bro that's all i'm saying so i'm like super excited about this right now so excited i feel like i should have tried to do an ombre nail that would have been cool oh well I could make this one an ombre, but like, I feel like that would kind of be weird. Just like one ombre pinky. Bro, I am so happy right now. Like, I almost like just cannot believe that that worked so well. Like, what? What? This is crazy bonkers. I honestly wasn't, I was expecting to have like a much harder time with this. Like, for real. For real. 
Okay, let me just clean up this stinky ass monomer. It's actually not that bad. I'm, I'm kind of getting used to the smell of monomer, which is kind of worrying to me because like, I feel like I'm just gonna be sitting with it here for like hours and then I'm gonna have like a giant pounding headache. So let me just clean up this monomer real quick so we can get on to like the filing and decorating these bad boys. I don't know if I'm really gonna do any like intricate nail art because this is my non-dom hand, meaning like this is my dominant hand, but like I'm using my non-dom hand. So basically I'll be right back. Okay, now these don't actually even require that much filing, like, at all. I'm just going to do a tiny bit of filing around the cuticles and sidewalls, just if, like, there was anything that spilt out a little bit, and I had a little mishap over here on the thumbs. And then I think I'm just gonna, like, do some cute rhinestone and charm designs and stuff. So they're filed and that took 10 minutes, literally 10 minutes instead of an hour and a half. So I feel like my dreams are coming true right now. Anyway, I have these stickers. Let's just take a moment to appreciate how adorable these stickers are. I feel like it should be illegal for something to exist that is this adorable. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna use these stickers because who am I if there's no stickers? And we might throw some rhinestones and stuff in there as well along the way. So let's just start putting these stickers on. They're like so adorable. I just like cannot decide. Yeah, sticking stickers on. <gasps> Why is this so hard? Oh my God. No. Okay. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Boom. No. Oh, they don't want to stick. Oh, okay, wait, let me wipe it off with alcohol first. I forgot to do that. Maybe that will help. I don't know why that would help, but let's try it anyway. Okay, just stick, stick. <gasps> yes, okay. Oh, so cute. I love it. And then I think I'm actually just gonna put rhinestones on as I go because I think I wanna put like a teardrop rhinestone down there. Or would that look weird? Because I do wanna cover up like this little space that kind of is just like missing acrylic. Oh, also I for oh no, it's fine. Okay, I just have to remember to put the stickers on facing me when I do it over here. I'm probably gonna forget, but just know that I remembered at some point and then I forgot if I do forget. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. The rhinestone fell over and it cannot get back up. Okay, there we go. My hands are shaking from like the quadruple shot espresso latte that I made this morning. I am steady. Boom. Yeah, I think that's cute. It's fine. It's whatever. I'm just gonna flash cure that on there. Okay, and I think I'm gonna put two more little rhinestones like above the bear sticker as well. Is that one too big? Mm, nah, it's fine. That should work. Cute. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna top coat it yet. I think I'll top coat them kind of like all together at the end so let's just keep going oh look at this one it's like a little praying teddy bear i love these they're so cute i feel like i should stop yet oh shit i almost forgot oh my goodness okay this way nice part of me wants to go get more coffee just because i like drinking coffee while i'm doing stuff but the other part of me knows that if i get any more coffee it needs to be decaf for now at least these little constellations are so cute but i don't know if i'm going to be able to get them off they're so delicate yes yeah i just ripped this one up okay let's try again slowly slowly boom ah no like what is that what is that Okay, yeah, I'm not even gonna try with the constellations anymore. That's not working. I keep hitting my camera with my stupid big head. Just stick. Oh my goodness. I feel like this would be easier with a base coat, but I was too lazy to put a base coat, so 
Now I'm paying the price. Boom. Wouldn't it be weird if there was a heart gemstone like at the end over here? I think it might be a little weird. So I'm just going to put a big heart sticker instead. And I'm going to put rhinestones on the cuticle. Why are you sitting here all alone? Listen to the same sad song. You know what I think would be kind of cute if there was one of these little heart, like clear heart charms on top of the heart sticker to like add a tiny bit more dimension, you know what I'm saying? I like me some dimension. So I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna try it. Cause why not? Why not? Cute. It's not the exact shape or anything, but I think it's cute. It adds like that little domed effect. Okay, and then the middle finger. I definitely want to put one of these big white crosses. Can't sleep good. Right there. Epic. And my battery about to die. I'm surprised it's lasted this long. All right, let me change here real quick. Okay, and we definitely need something in the center of this cross. And I have the perfect thing. A tiny little... Can't even see it. Can't even see it. All right. This tiny little heart rhinestone. Absolutely perfect. You just can't not do something when it's that perfect. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. And I think some little clouds would also be cute on this one. Sticking stickers on is harder than you think it would be. Ah! a couple little stars to fill in the empty space and then for the ring finger i think i want it to be mostly just rhinestones so i'm just gonna stick some rhinestones on and now the pinky i think i'm just gonna do like a cute little line of crosses that would be cute, maybe. Get inspired. There is always hope. Let me take you. Okay, actually, I decided that the crosses were going to be too close if I put them like three of them were not going to fit, basically. So, what should we put in between them? Another heart or a bow, a halo. I don't feel like you, that doesn't even look like a halo, it just looks like a little saucer. I think a little heart would be cute. And then I can do the same thing with the little clear heart like I did on the pointer finger. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the top coat and try my absolute best to go around all the little rhinestones. So here they are, all finished. Here are my absolutely adorable, stunning, precious acrylic nails using full cover tips and the lazy girl method. I am so, so excited with how these turned out. Like I was literally not expecting it to go this well. So yeah, I did have a little bit of trouble sizing some of these out, okay? Like um, they're not perfect, I get it. But I mean, like, come on now. That they're kind of perfect. Like, look how cute. I am so obsessed with these. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love them. And they also feel really strong. Like, they feel sturdy. 
I also did use a peel-off base coat, so I feel like if there is any problems with longevity, it might be because I tried um, using like a little bit of a different peel-off base coat method. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've ever tried this before. I am absolutely so ecstatic about them. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. I hope that you guys are having the most beautiful, amazing day. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. Press that like button, you know what I'm saying? If you feel like it, you know, it would help me a lot. It'd be great, it'd be fantastic. And subscribe so that all of your dreams come true. But I hope they all come true anyway, because I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye cutie.